Good evening, everybody. It's the Gadiel and the Teeth Show. Welcome to the Gadiel and the Teeth Show. And that's Jimmy repeating what I just said, so that's kind of weird. But, guys, we got a great show for you tonight. We just oh. watched a great game tonight. How about that? Oh, dear God, don't even get me started with that game. <laughs> the oh, yellow, the yellow Jackets go into Miami and get their ass handed to them Man. right on the silver platter. I don't think they had it when they got there. I don't know what Paul Johnson was doing out there. Yeah, it was disgraceful. Uh, you know, triple option offense. You think they're going to roll over Miami, who came off an emotional game against Florida State. Dwyer vanished in the second game of the season, just like he did in the first game of the season. I think I saw him at the ball once, and then and he got called for holding. That freaking cracker, or cookie, <laughs> Nesbitt. Nesbitt. Whenever I hear that name, Nesbitt, I think of a Looks like a, he was playing the Keebler Elves out there. Exactly. Damn chocolate chips. No one on Georgia Tech can block. No, oh, they can block. It's just, a, it's just an illegal block. No, they can't block. <laughs> I've seen a lot of missed blocks tonight. <laughs> Yeah, the ACC, you never know. I think they're playing, like, Big Ten football. What, ACC refs? You don't like them with the uh, first down when they still need, like, half an inch to gain? I think they just make up their own rules. I really don't think there is a rule book for the ACC. You can just pretty much call whatever you want to call. Well, if you didn't watch the game, then you pretty much just got a quick summary. And if you don't understand, well, Georgia yeah. Tech got crushed yeah, by 30, Miami. Yeah, 33-17 to 17 final. So Miami improves to 2-0 and on the season and takes on two top 25 ranked teams. And Georgia Tech... Well, they moved to two and one, and they look kind of shaky the last two days, last yeah, two games against. Lost, they had to Gardner Webb last year, a non-division one A school. Jesus. Are they well, Michigan? <laughs> 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 well, let's get back to a, a game earlier in the week, Jimmy. It was Monday Night the, Football, and it was the, uh, the first game, the Bills Patriots. Bills Patriots. I thought the Bills were going to knock oh, off the Patriots God, until totally I remembered that, that the uh, Bills were from Buffalo and the yeah. Patriots from from New England. The Bills just can't catch a break. I think it's been like 20 years since they caught one and it wasn't a good one. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing that they uh, they break. They, uh, you know, the guy almost broke his leg when he <laughs> fumbled that ball away. Oh, Leotis McKelvin. What a waste of a pick. It's like, totally, if you could fire someone in the NFL, like a player, he'd be fired. <laughs> but you can't do that. Why would you ever bring that ball to the end zone? That's beyond me. Why but... don't you just fall down? Would he play for Arizona? <laughs> <laughs> Who's coaching these guys? What is Dick Duran doing on the sidelines? You just tell him, oh, you go, go run it back. You just go down. It's the Patriots you're playing here. You think the Bills crowned their ass? Oh, God. <laughs> if Denny Green was out there, I think he would have had a stroke. That vein in his head is bulging out so far, you have no idea. Duran didn't even care. He just walked out the field like, eh, we'll get him next time. But he won't. Remember last, last year, the Monday night game against Dallas, they totally had that game too. And yeah, didn't turn out too well for them in that instance either. Well, I think it pretty much proved that Brady's just that damn good and if you don't hold them down by, like, 30, they're going to come back to beat you. Trent Edwards had that game. Like, he had the game of his life out there. I mean, Owens, you know, he was a real big help. When he had two catches for 46 yards. T.O. on Monday night, man. <laughs> T.O. And, and you, see, you see Owens the next day calling everybody out. Oh, McKelvin, you totally should have had that. Like, what, what were you doing all game? Jesus. That's the type of, that's the type of player that T.O. is. <laughs> and That's his quarterback. <laughs> that's his quarterback. I, I haven't that's his heard, teammate. I haven't heard any of that, but we might hear that soon. <laughs> Next game in the Monday night slate was oh, the Raiders. The awful. And the Chargers. Oh, I think they got sucked into the black hole. The Chargers got sucked in and couldn't get out for a little bit. I mean, but, you know. I was impressed with the Raiders' run offense. I was McFadden impressed with the DMC was just rolling in the, you know. I, I didn't really see him after the first drive, but I don't know. I wasn't really looking. Russell was just handling himself on offense. and I. Uh, Michael Bush looked pretty good. He should definitely be the starter. Yeah. McFadden. Russell, Bush, McFadden, they all have great games. And Darius hayward Bay, the seventh overall pick in the draft. I'm doing that with quoting fingers because, you know, he should have been like the 17th pick in the draft. But, you know, Al Davis just does whatever he wants. I'm I'll tell sure. you what, their other rookie receiver, Lewis Murphy from Florida, he looked pretty good. And, uh, oh, he got massacred on that one play. He got massacred, but he did score that, almost that game-winning touchdown. I think touchdown. the Chargers' entire team is on injured reserve now. I think I saw like seven of them go down and walk off the field. Well, I think one thing we learned is LT is getting old. He's over the hill. I think he one can't thing stay healthy and one thing we learned, just rolling. One thing we learned every year is San Diego is overrated, except for Darren Sproles. He's the only person that played in that entire game. I still like Phil Rivers. He reminds me of Leaf every once in a while. And, uh, <laughs> you, gotta love, you gotta love Ryan Leaf. Ryan Leaf, and it's just, you know, drug abuse and cursing, and I never have to work another day in his life, but still. Uh, let's, let's stop picking on Ryan Leaf. But I can't. He's just the worst pick ever. <laughs> he might be worse than Darius Hayward Bay will turn out to be. Well, I'll tell you what, though. The Raiders fans still got it. Oh, my God, they're all insane. Every time I go and watch a game, that it's just out of control, and I, I love it. There was Darth Vader's and Road Warriors out there. I, mean, I, thought, I thought it was at a, at a gay convention with, like, leather and everything like that. <laughs> you see that? The one guy had skulls on his head and shoulders, and, I mean... Uh, that was Hal Davis. <laughs> he thought it was Halloween. <laughs> you know, oh, good he's old... He's flipping slowly into senility. Good I mean, old Just Davis. picking people based on their, based on their names. All right, well, that's a recap of tonight and 
and Monday night. Early in the week. Awful, awfulness. But we have a few games that we just want to highlight for Saturday. The uh, upset of the season. The upset of the past no, 10 let, years. No, let's go century. The upset of you the century. What? Let's go the next 300 mm-hmm. years. There won't ever be a bigger upset. You'll never see what a game we're predicting like this right again. here. Temple over Penn State <laughs> at Beaver Stadium. It's all over. We Outright. Got this. Outright. Al, Al Golden's leading the boys out there with on a mission. To crush Joe Pa. I think he's... Yeah. I mean, he, he's friends with Al Davis. I think they're neighbors. No, Jimmy. I, I, I mean, how can you say that? I saw 25-0 and 0 against Penn State, or against Temple, the Joe Pa is. And in the last three games, they've outscored them 123-3. to three. Well, that was that was then. This is now. This is, this is like... You know, these are real teams. They got real jobs out there. <laughs> they, <laughs> they got real jobs on the line with real NFL teams. <laughs> Al Golden's going to lead them out there to the victory land. If they play with the fake teams, it's I mean, XFL, okay? I mean, Temple lost to Nova, but they're, they're, just, they're just doing the old rope-a-dope with Penn State, trying to draw them in, and they're going to knock them out, get them real tired. Penn State hasn't scored a touchdown in the second half all season. Now, here's, here's a real question. Can Penn State cover that 30-point line? If the real Temple shows up, probably, but this isn't the real Temple. This is the fake Temple exactly. that beats Penn State. Exactly. Uh, I don't know who plays for us anymore. I really don't. I couldn't tell you the quarterback. I think that the Michael kid's still there. No, he's on the Eagles. Yeah, maybe, okay. <laughs> he's on the Eagles. Oh, I the can Eagles. tell you he's on their team. The Eagles have seven quarterbacks. One's from Temple. That's all you need to know. <laughs> one's gay, one kills dogs, and one's from Temple. No, Jeff Garcia is definitely not gay. He has the <laughs> highest wife I've ever seen. No, that's a sham. It's like the Raiders' it's... defense. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, it, was just, it was just a smoke screen. They didn't really show up. We can't. <laughs> all right, let's not, let's not sidetrack on the Raiders. It's too much. But the game that we're both looking forward to, just because we, uh, we every time we, we take Tennessee, they always just... They just screw you yeah, right they there. Sc- oh, yeah. I don't understand what Lane Kiffin was doing out there last week against a terrible UCLA. Not a terrible UCLA team, but... A pretty a, terrible UCLA. A, UCLA. a team that had to travel across the country. Come, they had to travel across the country and play at 3 o'clock. That's, that's 12 o'clock their time. I mean, but come on. Tennessee... At home, in the checkerboard. In a revenge game. In a revenge game from last year. They can't do it. And their quarterback even went down, they still couldn't do it. Crompton's a bum. I mean, last year he proved that in the game. I don't think he was starting last year, but I mean, he came in in the game. He was still a bum. I mean, their (laughs) highly touted running back recruit, you know, he did nothing. And, oh, God, they're like, they're like, they're the bottom of the SEC. Well, they get, they get, they get Florida. Florida, are they at home with Florida? Oh, yeah. They're in the swamp. They're in in the swamp, and uh, the line's 80. They're not coming out of that swamp. I think, yeah, the line's 80. That, that's, I think they should tease it up to 80 if you had that option. I still wouldn't take it. I would take Florida 85 nothing. <laughs> Urban Meyer. Urban Meyer, he's on a mission. He's going to destroy Lane Kiffin. He's like, don't ever come back here. He's like, I'm going to do the same thing to you next year when we come to Tennessee. You don't have a shot. I'm going to murder you. Tim Tebow is going to have eight touchdowns all in the first quarter. And then in the second, third, and fourth as well. <laughs> I'm not shaking your hand after the game either. I'm just going to laugh at you from a distance. Yeah, one thing that we've learned over the years is you don't insult Urban Meyer because... He will beat you by 50 the one, every the, time. The coaches you don't want to accept uh, uh, offend in college football, Urban Meyer, the old ball coach, and Bobby Petrino, because they will just run the score up on you. You have no chance against either what of them. What about Nick Saban? Nah, Nicky's good. Nicky just runs it. He just looks <laughs> good. Nicky. I love Nicky. Ah, uh, Nicky. I was totally on the sideline with him coaching him up the other day. Well, we've covered a couple games. Now let's get to another matchup between the uh, – Overrated Notre Dame Fighting Irish no, no, and no. the Michigan State Spartans. Michigan now, State, oh God, Michigan State that. outright in this game. No, forget about it. They're going to crush him. Jimmy Clausen's got this. He's like outright. the best quarterback out there. Nope. I'm He's telling you. A little scrunched face. Notre just Dame's looks, overrated. Just sucked on a lemon. Take the points and MSU. It's, take, a, it's, a, it's a lock. Take Notre Dame at home. They got, <laughs> the, they got the players. They got the talent. Michigan was a, was a blurp last week. They're going to come back and get him. Jimmy a blurp. <laughs> Jimmy's the best quarterback in the country. You, you I'm not saying you that can't say. Michigan's a blurp. They beat them fair and square. Tate Forcier, the second oh, that, coming of Christ. That was Christ. the worst defensive call I've ever seen. Forcier is the man. We all know there was totally three seconds left in that game when it ended. No. Nope. There was 11 seconds on the kickoff, and nope. they started the first play with nine seconds. Nope. Something happened. Then the refs ran away afterwards. No. Nope. Charlie, sent, Charlie sent the assistants out after them, and the refs ran away. That has to mean the fix was in. It was like the old Montreal screw job in the WWF. I'm telling you. Oh, God. Michigan stayed out right. This Saturday is going to be an interesting day, no doubt. Florida, Temple, Notre Dame. That's what One game to avoid, by the way. Do not bet USC. No, you can't bet it. Barkley's against. out. Aaron Corp, who I've heard can run the ball, throw the ball pretty well, is going to be playing probably. Washington plays them tough at home. And they got Washington at home, trap game. They're going to have some offense. I like USC and a nail-biter. Any other games you like? 